My name is Stacy Gilbert. I'm the manager for Parkview Samaritan Flight and EMS, and we are at Parkview Regional Medical Center in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I run the daily operations of the program from our two helicopters to our six ambulances. The helicopter provides the rapid transport, the highly uh, critical care that our team uh, provides to the patient, and brings them to the definitive care that they need quickly. For the EMS mission, the AW169 is an amazing airframe for us. It has great OEI flyaway capability. It is an amazing IFR platform. Uh, it handles weather, wind very, very well. Another aspect that the 169 brings is the APU mode, allowing us to keep engines running, keep oxygen flowing, keep the climate controlled inside the cabin and the cockpit. So once crew members do arrive with a patient, there is no delay on getting those systems set up. The 169 has a really nice avionics suite with the IFR capability, uh, the streamlined EDCUs, which are the computers that we interface with the machine. The way those interact makes it a simple process for the pilot. The primary benefit that the 169 brings is going to be that power, performance, range, as well as the space the med crew has available in the back. We have a lot more patient care room. We can utilize patient care from both sides of the patient now instead of you know, just top and bottom, we're able to access that patient more completely and it, it is a lot more comfortable for the patient with the environmental system that's in it, with the heating and air conditioning. The space inside the cabin is perfect for a 360 degree access to our patients. Great advantage to us is being able to load from either side. The other big benefit is the IFR capability and being able to have that extra safety buffer of returning to base if conditions deteriorate worse than we expected. The technology integrated into the, the cockpit with the computer interfaces, the electronic circuit breakers, the navigation systems, it is very streamlined to allow the pilot to have excellent situational awareness. The synthetic vision is a very, very valuable asset in assisting in double IMC recovery and doing our IFR procedures. Uh, doing the low level flying as we're coming into a scene, having the H toss and the train awareness and the wires, all of those right at our, in, in our vision, both outside and in the cockpit, greatly assists the pilot's situational awareness, which is a major component of increasing our level of safety. Today, we're, we're up to date with the most advanced aircraft on the market, the 169. Uh, everything is, is digital and, and can be traced. We can trace this aircraft down to the uh, second of flight time, and we have a bunch of predictive uh, analytics that, that enables us to uh, detect failures uh, when they're starting. It's very maintenance friendly. Uh, it's very uh, sophisticated as far as computers and technology goes. The uh, intervals are, are shortened to facilitate uh, operations and to make it more readily dispatched for minimal downtime. We fly a single pilot IFR here at Parkview Samaritan and a lot of the tools uh, provide the situational awareness and the precision that's needed to safely and successfully um, fly in the clouds. So once we have the 169 loaded uh, with all of the medical equipment, our crew and the patient, uh, we see seat speeds around 135 knots. Everything about the 169 is a safety forward it, I'm excited that we're able to bring such a good aircraft into our program and our fleet. Enjoy coming to work every day. Enjoy working with my secondary family that's here. My whole big goal is if I land and we get out to take care of a critically ill or injured patient or somebody in cardiac arrest, can we make a difference and they go home? My whole goal is that they go home to spend more time with their families.